Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're gonna make 12 freezer meals that can go in your Instant Pot or your slow cooker. So my name is Kristen and I'm Camille and we got such a great response from all our freezer meals last month that we decided to show you some more that you can make for your family to make your life a little bit easier. Right, so we're making 12 this time, so we're making yeah. four different recipes three times. So if you're ready, you can cook along with us or just watch so you can cook later. All right, well, let's get started. So this first recipe is Southwest burritos. Now this one's so easy because the meat we've already cooked, it's yes. just some ground beef. Nice. Um, so it only has to cook for four minutes in your Instant Pot mm -hmm. or three to four hours on low in your slow cooker. So this one's Super quick. Super easy. Now, if you want to cook your ground beef in your Instant Pot, I do have a video for you. I'll put that down below in the description so you'll be able to see how we cook our ground beef to make to make it a little easier, to yeah. make this recipe easier. All right. Okay. Okay, so let's dive go. in. Yeah. Okay, wait before we start. I just have to tell you. <laughs> so we used these amazing things last time and I gave one to Camille. Yep. And then I kept three of them and I was gonna bring them back for today, but we are literally moving. <laughs> We're literally moving in two weeks, and I think they got packed. They are they're packed gone. Away. <laughs> so but we got one. So we have one, and then we're gonna use a pitcher yep. for and you a know what? freezer meal. I've done freezer meals for years. I haven't owned one of these except for until just last recently. month. Yeah. So this is how I've always done it, and so you can just use what you've got around your house. It doesn't exactly. take anything special. Okay. So. Make sure you write on your gallon-sized bag there before you start what it is and how long to cook it for. Okay. And then this one we also added that you need to add rice and cheese because that isn't included in this recipe. Right, you don't want to add it right now. You're no. going to add it when it's done. When so. it's all done. Now I always like to do my beef first. And the same way. Okay. So Put meat at the bottom so that it can cook Yep. Um, first in the long. So this is just one pound of ground beef. You can do ground turkey too, mm -hmm. just in each bag. Wow, we, we're making a mess. I know, this is gonna get messy, it's, it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> okay, onion. Onion, next. So just, just one whole onion? Yep, one onion all chopped up. Cool. Okay. That one. I'm gonna and add this third. Okay. Salsa. Whole jar of salsa. Whole jar of salsa. So 16 ounces. Okay. Stump it right in. And yep. this isn't sponsored, but this really is one of our favorite brands. Right? It's Air It's like brand. one of the cheapest ones. Yeah. And it has a lot of flavor. It's like, super fresh, like out of all of them that I've had. The ingredient list is awesome. Exactly. So okay. Just adding to that one. All right. What's next? What do you want to add? Can of Rotel. Okay. And this can, this is just a 10 ounce can mm -hmm. of Rotel. Just Basically, tomatoes with green chilies will yep. work great. Yep. There's oh, one sorry. More. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then can of black beans. Nice. We already rinsed and drained them. And then we use just the low sodium one. You're going to get a lot of salt and flavor in this dish already. So you don't well. need. You don't yeah. need extra. Exactly. But whatever you have on hand will work. Yep. Thank you. All right, next we're just gonna add, I like to also use the low sodium taco seasoning, so we'll just open that up and stick that in too. I do, I love to buy those big taco seasonings at Costco, way. but for these ones, this one's I'll not just use the package today. I know I had to use my teeth. <laughs> um, it's really easy to make your own taco oh. seasoning too, I've done that before. Do we have a recipe for that? Um, maybe somewhere very deep. Okay, <laughs> if I find it, I'll, I'll put a link in the description for you. Okay, and once you get everything added in, seal it up. Okay, I want you to do that one. Yeah, you're ahead of that one. And then give it a good stir with your hands. Now we talked about this last time. If you're short on freezer space, you can lay them flat in your freezer like this and stack them up, but that does make it really hard to put it in your Instant Pot. Yeah. So I kind of like to freeze it in just kind of a nice mound. <laughs> nice circular mound because then when it's frozen, I can take the bag off and just set it in my instant just pot. Just pop it in. Yep. Don't have to uh, defrost it at all. I just put it in there completely frozen. Awesome. All right. So while you do that one, I'm going to talk a little bit. So okay. the only like liquid that's in here is from the salsa and sometimes that's not enough to pressurize it. It will, you'll get the burn notice if you have a duo. So 
If you have a duo and you're a little nervous like it's not enough liquid, go ahead and add a half a cup of water if you're cooking it in the Instant Pot. So then you don't have to see that because no one likes burnt food, right? right. It freaks us out <laughs> every time. That burn notice <laughs> scares me. What do I do wrong? Exactly. Okay, so like we said, it cooks for four minutes in the Instant Pot. So what we like to do with these, this is how I kind of put them together. So even though I'm not gonna cook this right now, I just wanna kind of show you. So mm -hmm. I usually, I like to get a kind of a bigger tortilla, like yep. a, a soft taco tortilla. I love just this quick and easy rice that you can literally just put in your microwave yep. and you'll have some, I like brown rice with quinoa. Yeah. Um, so I'll put a little bit of quinoa, put a little bit of the mixture, put some cheese of course, and then just roll it all up Wrap in the tortilla. Exactly. Yeah. And then you can either like put it on your skillet and just make it like a nice, hot, juicy, Burrito, <laughs> or or of course you can or make it even into enchiladas. Tacos, if you want to. nachos, exactly. Uh, quesadillas. You can put it on top of a salad. It's like so many different options. It's just with really this, versatile. So. Okay, all right. Okay, done with this There's one. one. Moving on to the next. All right, the next recipe is sweet pork. Now this one is so easy. We actually call it easy sweet pork easy on sweet pork. the website. Yeah. yeah. So what we did is we took like a three to five pound pork roast. Yep. Um, and just put it already in. The bag. This is one of my favorite recipes to use pork in. Pork yes. is so inexpensive. It's pretty lean. These are a pretty lean cut. You can use kind of whatever pork roast that you have. A shoulder will work great. A butt roast. Yeah, yeah. Just a pork loin. Even yeah, I was gonna say even a loin works yeah. just fine. Doing stuff. Let's uh, maybe brown sugar first. Okay. So we got a cup of brown sugar that's going in. These are, like the name says, so sweet. So sweet. So sweet. That's so good. Mm -hmm. And then a bottle of your favorite taco sauce. Right, and there's different sizes of taco sauce. I mean, it really doesn't matter that much mm -mm. just because it's, it's more of like a sauce that it's gonna sit in. So I saw yep. some, these are 12 ounces, you can do 15 ounces, whatever your favorite taco sauce well, so is. So you just need it for the flavor. Exactly. There's gonna be plenty of liquid for this one. Yes. All right, and then our last ingredient is Coca-Cola. Now, I messed up. I'll just admit to you right now. <laughs> I did not mean to buy diet Coca-Cola. It will still work just fine, yeah. but usually if you just use just plain Coca-Cola, it has a little bit different flavor, but. Yeah. Not an artificial taste. Yeah. So it's really a preference. Either way, I know, it is preference. Mm -hmm. Either way, it still tastes amazing. So yep, still works. I'm gonna pour while you hold the bag open. Kay. Is that okay? Yep. So you do about two cups of this. The good thing, it's, it's forgiving. Like, we're just gonna estimate here about two cups and it will definitely have enough liquid in it. That's for sure. For sure. All right, you wanna zip that yep, up? Yep, I can zip that up. Awesome. And get the air out. So yes. this recipe comes from a Utah restaurant. Yes. Called Cafe Rio. There's also a Costa Vida, but they kind of made sweet pork famous. Um, it's just a really sweet, sweet, sweet meat, uh -huh. which it sounds so interesting, especially if you haven't tried it, but it's really it's good. So good. Like sweet pork burritos are my kids favorite food. I think every time we go to Cafe Rio, uh -huh. this is what I order because it's my yep. favorite. And Steph loves sweet pork quesadillas. Open. That's what she always gets. Oh, nice. I like the sweet pork salads. Oh, yeah. Those are divine. Um, I've also, when I haven't had Coke on hand, but I've had like Dr. Pepper. Yeah. I've done it and it works it great too. It works so good. Just mostly needs the sugar. So. <laughs> Anything to make it sweet, right? Yep. Yep. I noticed you got caffeine free. Yeah, didn't mean to do that either. Sometimes <laughs> you need the caffeine. <laughs> All right, so cooking time. So this goes in the Instant Pot for 90 minutes. Now, I know that seems like a lot, and sometimes people say you can cook a pork for about 45, but lots of times it's not cooked all the way through, all the way through. or it's really rough. Like, if you have rough meat, you're not cooking it long enough. So I always say, like an hour to 90 minutes. Sometimes I'll even just cook it and let it stay on warm all day. Totally. And it will it will taste amazing. Yep. And then slow cooker. Slow cooker all day long, like eight to 10 hours. I love this in the slow cooker. On low. On yeah, low. on low, it needs to be on low. I yeah. actually wouldn't even recommend doing it on high because mm -mm. you want it to be that soft, tender, shred Juicy, apart. Easy, not yeah. dry. Yeah, perfect. So. All right. Okay. Done with this Done one. Done with this one. Moving on to the next. So the next recipe are sweet and tangy meatballs. Yes. These are so easy. Like three ingredients, toss it in, you're good to go. So you're gonna start with a big bag of meatballs, yep. frozen meatballs. Let's see what this is. So this is like a 26 ounce. Mm -hmm. You can also double it if you want to, yeah. but 26 oh, yeah. is perfect. So this I use as a dinner and like serve it over rice. 
Yes. And you can also serve this as an appetizer. Uh huh. If you have a party, this is a great one. So <laughs> you're we're losing rolling. meatballs. We're at Ugh. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so frozen meatballs. Toss those in. Next ingredient is a jar of chili sauce. So you'll find this in the grocery store next to the ketchup. Yep. It's basically spicy ketchup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ketchup with chili sauce. Flavorful ketchup, I should say. Nice. But it's really good. And it's definitely, you need it for this recipe. I don't think ketchup tastes the same. All right. Now, this doesn't have a lot of vegetables, obviously, in this recipe, no. but I love to serve this over with cauliflower rice. Mm -hmm. And then you can even have like a side salad next to it. Like, you can yeah. put vegetables in your meal. Definitely. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the Instant Pot, you exactly. know? Exactly. Yep. Quick and easy side dish. We love getting like um, bags of frozen vegetables and just uh -huh. steaming them in the microwave. And Smart. Then Smart. Serve that alongside everything. Okay. okay. So the next ingredient. We got grape jelly grape here. Jelly. Yep. So about about a cup. About a cup. Maybe say. like ten ish ounces, eight to yeah. ten ounces. So this one is so nice because you can squeeze it in. Because <laughs> grape jelly is really hard to measure when it's in the glass it jar. Is. So, I mean, and this is a very forgiving recipe too. Yeah. Eyeballing. Yeah. You can just is eyeball. It's totally fine. I'm gonna add just a touch more. Yep. And I'm just gonna add the rest of the bottle awesome. in here. Okay. Oh my. Yep. I can add some of this one too. Okay. I might, so I don't have to squirt at the end. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, and that's it. So this one only has to cook for seven minutes in your Instant Pot. Yep. Or three to four hours on low yep, in your slow cooker. So in your Instant Pot, if you're gonna make this in the Instant Pot, make sure you put about a half a cup to one cup of water in it with it. Yeah, it does need a little bit it more liquid. It does need a little bit more liquid. It's too thick of a liquid, It will you'll get the burn notice. So half a cup to one cup of water. Yep. And then you can just push the saute button at the end to get rid of any extra liquid you don't want. Yeah, so kind of thicken up your sauce. Thicken it up. Yep. And but then, like I said, I serve it over rice, cauliflower rice. If you wanted to add some vegetables yeah. to your Instant Pot or slow cooker, I would chop up some peppers, like green bell peppers. Green peppers, that's a great idea. And toss those in. That would be, they would taste yummy in this. Perfect. Okay, there All you go. Right. Meatballs. Let's, let's move on to the next one. All right, so one of my most popular recipes is the roast that you can make in your Instant Pot. So I thought that we'd make it into a freezer meal because it's so simple and easy and I yeah. love just throwing a roast either in the Instant Pot or slow cooker, so. Right, that's what we grew up with on Sundays. It was like Sunday Every dinner. Every Sunday, pot roast. I loved it. And it's <laughs> the best smell <laughs> in the world. You come home. Yep. Ah, and you know it's for dinner. We do. I know. So this is actually called Sunday roast. Yes, it Sunday is. Hot roast. Yes, it is. This is actually our mom's like recipe from way back. Yep. So we haven't shared this one on here yet. Nope. So we're excited. Okay, moving on. So you yep. want to tell them how long it cooks for? Yeah. So Sunday roast. So we're using um, right. We have a rump roast in here, but really any roast that you have will work will great. Work. So like a chuck roast, um, sirloin roast, like just any beef. Roast that you've got. If you've got a pork roast, it would work too. So throw that in there and then you're gonna cook it in your slow cooker. Same thing like the other recipes, low and slow, eight to 10 hours, um, low heat, or in the instant pot for about 90 minutes. 90 minutes, yeah. Because we've got a lot of things going in here. So. And it is thick meat. It is a it big is. meat. All right, what are we putting in first? So we've got a couple of potatoes, so okay. like three to four potatoes, yes, roughly chopped. Like don't go too tiny or they'll turn to mush. Exactly. So just kind of big chunks in there. They're gonna get nice and soft. Exactly. Want mm -hmm. me to hold something for you? I'll if do potatoes. You'll do that one. A little bit. This bag's not staying open very well. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. And then we've got a couple carrots chopped up, three yeah, to four like carrots. Yeah, like four carrots. Now you can use the baby carrots too. Yeah, I just like these ones because they're so thick too. that they cook better in the Instant they're Pot. They're not so mushy. Yep, mm -hmm. I'm the same way. And that's how our mom did it growing up. Yeah. So. Okay, so we've got our carrots in there. Oh, do you want to grab the, one oh, more yeah. carrot for the middle? And then Ooh. after that, we've got an onion. Onions, yep. Just one onion chopped up. You can keep a big if you want to. You don't yeah. have to dice it. Just depends what it is you My like. kids don't like them, so I kind of like to hide them. Yeah, so that's totally. why they're little. <laughs> and then we've got a can of diced tomatoes. So this yeah. one is the basil, garlic, and oregano tomatoes, but any diced tomatoes will work. Fire roasted tomatoes are really Ooh, good in that's this. That's my favorite. We're getting full here. You're We're this one's full. a big one. Yep. We might have to take that one off the holder. We might need to. Okay, okay. and then the last thing, because we need liquid in there. 
two cups of beef broth. Yep. I'm gonna hold this one open while you dump it okay. in if that's okay. I'll pour in half of this and then put it on the other. Mm. Oh, it's gonna... It smells good already. <laughs> I love the smell of onions and tomatoes and all that stuff. All right. Okay, so there's that. The last ingredient. Oh. The oh. secret ingredient. Don't zip it yet. A beef bouillon cube. Oh, nice. Because oh, nice. <laughs> Guys, it's one of those bins. Yeah. Okay, she's tired. I, she's getting ready to move. That's why we're making freezer meals. That's so she can just are. throw them in and not have to think. It's fine. It will still taste good. It's gonna taste good. We'll just clean it up. Anyways, throw the bouillon cube in just for that added beefy, beefy. flavor. Now you can do either beef or chicken. Yeah, but. just that added flavor is gonna add so much in there. Yes. Okay. So give it a good. Little mix. Okay, so here's the thing with potatoes. There, there's a chance they might be a little discolored from the yeah. freezer, but don't be afraid of it. It's fine. It's just from the oxygen hitting the inside of the potato. Some people, as I've made freezer meals before, freak out like, oh my gosh, my potatoes look weird. They're fine. Just throw it all in there, put some gravy on top, you'll be good to go. Exactly. If you are nervous about the potatoes kind of looking discolored, I would keep them out of the freezer meal. Just do your carrots, onions, tomatoes, and beef. And then when you put it all in the Instant Pot, add your chopped potatoes then, and you'll be fine. Yeah, it's very so, true, yeah. it's very true. There but you go. I do like mine all together, yeah. ready to go. And just ready to go. Exactly. And, and they will taste fine. All right, so these are all the freezer meals we have for you today. If you want to see more of our freezer meals that we made last month, you can find the video right there. Now, if you're curious on how to make the freezer meal and how to cook it, you can find that video just down below it. So hopefully that will help you and we will see you guys next week. See you later. Bye.